we finally reunite after many, many moons. Many moons. Many moons. What's up, baby? A whole load of moons. Sada Baby is back at the table. Thank the Lord. Hello, mother. People like us as a duo, so it's 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 probably a relief for a lot of people to see this pop up in the subscription tab. We like us. You know what I'm saying? We 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 wasn't us for a while because of me. And, and that's okay. Oh, so you're taking full accountability? Because I feel like I, I... There's a whole conversation to be had about that. I about mean, our little we can thing. Have it. We can have it. I, I feel like... Um, Trans people ruin everything. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is a theme. You starting early. This is a theme. <laughs> you start early. But um, I feel like um, what I was expecting was like... How can I put it? All right, so my heart big as hell. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And like when I build a rapport with somebody, you know, I'd be like basing it off of as, as much genuine acts as possible. Mm -hmm. And I felt like you had did so many of those things towards my way. And I was like, bro, really f with me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my friend more so than you were a media personality. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So when I seen your platform, like repose the ignorant shit that I said, you feel me? I didn't take it as a media personality reporting hot media. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I took it as my homeboy trying to slight me for some odd reason. And I, it's, it's always going to be hard for me to separate the two. But in the same token, I didn't look at it from a bunch of different ways. I just looked at it from I wanted to have an attitude way. And I already was getting a lot of slack for it. I felt like at that point in time, you added to the slack. I didn't look at it like that was your job for you to report. Like, that's what you do any way. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't put no bias into it. There's two different types of rappers. Because, mm -hmm. like, all right, there's some some girl who used to be on the Blue Face Girls Club who was just hitting me up trying to come on the podcast or whatever, and she wants to talk shit about him and Jaden or whatever. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, oh, is Blue Face going to be mad at me? Because, you know, we're, we're, we're cool. Blue Face, he's, he's my pal. And then I'm like, Blueface is the kind of person that would be perfectly happy for me to create a shit storm of controversy because he's the extreme example of somebody who's just like any attention is good. Any attention can eventually be funneled back into making some money. And to me, if I'm Sada Baby, I'm trying to be in the news every week for saying some crazy ass. That part. But... On the other hand, it's a fine line between being yourself and being the version of yourself that might generate the most headlines, which might eventually ch generate more streams and more interest in mm -hmm. your music or whatever. And this is the game that we all play, is the, the, the challenge between do you want to be yourself or do you want to become a marketing machine? I know that, too. I, uh, it's... it's what did you want to call it, a battle or something when you're going back and forth in between? Like, I could say this, and I know what's going to come behind me saying this, and then do I feel like dealing with what's going to come with me saying this? You know what I'm saying? So, like, my thing now is I will fully comment a heartfelt response about some shit that don't got nothing to fucking do with me, like mm -hmm. about some, some rapper beef or some baby mama celebrity shit woo woo and before I press post I just delete it mm. because usually why like, old me a press post mm -hmm. and then you know what I'm saying you get trolls and woo woo but you might not get trolls you might get a whole nother blog to screenshot your comment and make a post out of that you know what I'm saying so mm. it's like you no, know, everybody got ass so everybody got opinion whatever they say that shit like that like I got an opinion on Everything I see every time, just like anything, excuse me, that would have to do with me, a random motherfucker I have an opinion about, I just type it in, and before I post it, I just delete it. Because my mouth, they got me into a whole lot of fucking trouble. You really? know what I'm saying? So you have all these walls set up to basically prohibit you from destroying your own career. Yeah, just trying <laughs> not to do no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the shit that we say like is nothing is shit that breaks the internet or like sub everything nowadays. Right. You know what I'm saying? And 
even though a lot of people with common sense know, like, he don't necessarily mean it like that. Or, like, that's just the era he grew up in talking. It just don't f-ing matter. You can't say it. Right. But even, it doesn't even have to be some controversial shit about gay people no, or race no. or anything like that. But, okay, right now, if there was, like, an album that just came out and you were just like, that shit weak as f-. Oh, Lord. Sada you- Baby, down so-and-so's throat. It's a f- in war zone. They're going to make it into such a thing, and that is such a normal thing to Facts. say. If you were like, oh, you hear the new so-and-so album, I'd be like, that shit sucks. That's a super normal thing for us to say off camera. You say it on, on camera? camera? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like that. Y'all know y'all see the memes because I know we all in our own respective group chats. You know what I'm saying? I'm in three group chats full of bull. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if them, if the group chat with me and my Mexicans get leaked, what? I'm canceled 67 times. How because you get in a Mexican group chat? I got some essays in Arvin. You feel me? Shout out Zay. You feel me? Shout out Weasel Pato. You feel me, motherfucking mm. Nick Bernardo. Fetty weird ass. See, and and like I, I usually call Fetty another word. You feel me? But I can't do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the homies, when y'all see this, y'all know what word we call Fetty because he's that. But do they call you a hard R? Man, listen. So look. So look. This is the thing with us with that, right? We play, so my relationship with them came from gaming, right? Mm. So, and if anybody is an avid gamer, and 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 if you a gamer with common sense, you play Call of Duty because that's the get up with your homies game, you feel me? Mm-hmm. If you know what the f- load-in lobbies are. It's still like that? N- nigga. I thought they started, like, blocking everybody. It's, no, impossible. it's, like that. Real. it's impossible. It's <laughs> impossible. It's that like, popular. Like, they'll do shit like, okay, so say say you mute the you mute the loading lobby because you know what you're about to hear, right? Mm. On the plane, on the plane, a mother will start up in the all chat and be like, type one if you don't like such and such. And, yeah, and it's just like, so our, our relationship came from gaming, you feel me? So... We dance around that all the time, but, like, jokingly with each other because we still come from an era to where, like, it was some shit to be joked about. Like, their hard R is, you know, uh, uh, Bean with the with mm. the, with the the ER at the end. You feel me? Now, <laughs> don't nobody say it. That's they, but that, like, that's like they hard R. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, but don't nobody say it just like how right. in today's age, like, you really got to be a super hard racist to be walking around saying a hard R anyway. You right. feel me? Yeah. But, like, they don't say it about you. But, like, it's, like, it's shit that we joke about that we know, like, if we was to joke about it or or people was to know we was on camera talking about, like, it would be a fucking uproar. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you would get branded as, like, oh, Sada Baby's into this edgy, racist humor. And, it's, and, like, it's even just, and he's Doja downplaying Cat. it. And Doja he's not Cat, sensitive about right. it. Doja Cat has a fucking edgy, weird internet sense of humor. Mm-hmm. And she, like, will post weird memes sometimes or you'll realize that she's into, like, weird internet comedians and like that, but then like it always just becomes a like Doja Cat is a secret Nazi Every supporter. Time. So you have her; she's like way too famous to have like a weird, quirky sense of humor. And and anyone with any level of fame is too famous to fucking have like a weird love for like Listen, racist humor. You know what? <laughs> you know what? That's like Twitch. I feel like anybody who's a part of the Twitch community, they will tell you that's where you get your most genuine love from. Mm, yeah, it, t- it takes a lot of love to sit there and just watch somebody. This live. is what I'm trying to tell you. You know, watch a clip afterwards, not that. But sit dedicated. there and watch them laugh, right? Like, and, and that's and that's some shit I understand from like everybody who be in my Twitch, and I tell them I appreciate them all the time because you know they they buying subs then they're about a minute. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just to sit in there, right? That allows me to show a side of side of baby that. I try to illustrate in my music with my metaphors and references from cartoons to wrestlers and all that type of shit. But because of the way I exert my energy, the way I I dress and draw attention to the way I dress, me dancing and being as much of a personality that I am, I get put in the box of just entertainment more mm-hmm. so than being a lyricist. So... The side of me that I try to illustrate through my, through my music, like with the video games and my knowledge of Halo or being big in the Greek mythology and shit like that, I get to show it on the video game side on Twitch. 